There's been a ton of activity in the Pilot Flying J project. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. I like to go over this every so often. I haven't done so in a while. The reason I'm so excited about this project is because unlike other CPOs who plop their chargers in back into parking lots or in shopping malls, Pilot or operates travel centers immediately off interstate exits, which really make it optimal for road trip refueling. And these travel centers are much more extensive than a typical convenience store. They're designed really to service long haul truckers for refueling their uh, diesel and giving them a place to rest. So they have things like showers and laundry and uh, the restrooms are always very well kept. Um, they also have free Wi-Fi and premium Wi-Fi. So kind of like at a hotel where if you want to pay a little extra, you can get premium Wi-Fi. But most importantly, they never close. They are open 24-7, 365. If you want to go at 2 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day, they're open. So very nice, the security aspect, and also always having the amenities available 24-7, 365. It's an EVgo Extend um, partnership. So the EVgo member benefits do not extend and uh, the GM plans are honored at these locations, meaning certain Cadillac owners will have an EVgo two-year free option given to them. And if so, those plans are honored. Me and my wife took advantage of that for two years and we were able to charge these locations for free. However, down here, there was a press release about a year and a half ago concerning discounted rates for all GM owners, and so far we haven't seen anything from this materialize. And also, there's going to be some in-route reservations going on here, but so far, not. And I've been thinking about removing this from this slide, but I'm going to just let it sit for a bit to see if anything happens. Concerning the canopy designs, there are initially five that we knew about, and this one I'll get to in just a second. This one here is butted up against a curb, so there's no pull-through. This is a square canopy, which is supposedly the most common one, and it is pull-through. Then they have a couple of diamond shapes, depending on how the drive lines kind of line up. And then this one here is the most rare, where they extend the gas canopy. And uh, we've only seen this in two out of the 190 locations. But this one up here is a relatively new design, and it's actually been popping up quite a bit recently. I've been seeing this, I think, at like five different locations already. Um, so this is something that they're favoring for some reason. I don't really know why. Additionally, PlugShare has a filter for Pilot Flying J. So if you want to see just these stations that are Pilot Flying J, again, these are immediately off the interstate at travel centers, so they make good stops for road tripping. And this is what the full map looks like, all 190 of them. A um, couple of things to call out here that is really significant in my opinion. You can see, well, the bad news is up here in the Upper East Coast, there's a bit of lack of pips. But over here in the Upper Rocky region, it really was not much going on. But just in the past couple of months, we've got multiple things going on in Colorado. And you'll see in the next slide, uh, there's an additional one here that's actually not, which one is it? Yeah, so this one here is not on PlugShare yet, but it is actually open just today, I think it is. Um, so there's four in the state of Colorado. There's a bunch in Wyoming. And again, there's one pit missing there, and I'll show you what that looks like on the next slide. But just a lot of getting, a lot of stations getting filled in up here in the upper um, rocky region of the country. So... That's definitely encouraging because this whole area was really missing a bunch of pips. And there's a couple under construction up here as well. So we're making great progress. They have definitely figured out, you know, in any profession, once you're doing a job with repetition, you really start to get good at it. And what I've been noticing is that they're, they seem to be doing um, start of construction where the construction will finish soon to when the power will get delivered. So they seem to have worked that whole coordination out where they don't actually start construction until they get notification from the utility company that their power is getting delivered. And then they work out with the um, OWL e-mobility or whoever the uh, contractor is going to GC the build of the site and get that all landed right around the same time. Because I'm seeing multiple locations start construction and then just as the construction is finishing they open so the power is getting delivered and everything and just like in any profession with repetition if you're doing it over and over again these guys their ladies and men have been doing this so long now 
they're finally getting the patting your head, rubbing your stomach, and jumping up and down in one foot process in multiple different arenas perfected. And uh, the orchestration necessary in order to complete these site builds is uh, very clearly on the Pilot Flying J internal side, moving along with increased proficiency. And it's showing in the steady uptick. And you can see right here in July, we're starting to get, or end of June, we're starting to get a pretty significant spike in uptick. These are the new EVgo maps. And again, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. I did so last time, but here's some circles. And this one right here, that screen is um, Limon, I believe is how it's pronounced, Colorado. And it is actually open now. That's the pip I was talking about on the last slide. I don't know what this one is. This one actually opened. This one is open. Um, don't know what that one is. Uh, don't know what this one here is in Pennsylvania, south of Pittsburgh. And um, here in Louisiana, we have one pip missing on the next slide, but that's all to be expected. So, okay, so here's the slide of the coming by 2024. And as I said, this is Louisiana one has been removed and is proposed. So this wasn't guaranteed builds. This was just a proposed slide. <clears throat> States that are done, we have two new ones. Welcome to the state of Colorado, which was really just one pip for the coming by 2024, but they've added three friends to the group. So Cal, uh, Colorado now has four Pilot Flying J stations, all of them open. And um, Wyoming has four, three of them open, one of them under construction. And uh, But it does constitute complete because all the pips that were on the coming, com coming by 2024 map which is this one this one and this one are now complete so wyoming is done and new this update all right so there's a lot they have definitely been about their business walcott iowa right up here on interstate 80 near the world's largest truck stop vidalia illinois right here which is east of st louis denham springs louisiana east of baton rouge on interstate 12 Kearney, Missouri, up here, north of Kansas City. Dallas, Texas, this one has kind of been lingering out there a while, but it is now open as of uh, this morning. I just saw it pop in. Jasper, Florida, on Interstate 75, and Midway, Florida, on Interstate 10, both open, both canopy locations. And Florida had kind of stagnated for a while, but they seem to have moved on from waiting for the Nevi Awards and are just in the process of doing these builds. So state of Florida seems to be a major construction zone going on. Fremont, Indiana, up here near the Michigan border. Rio Rico, Arizona, down here near the border with the nation of Mexico, open. Grand Junction, Colorado, open. Hudson, Colorado, which is up here, open. Limon, Colorado, as I mentioned, which was the one sole pip on the coming by 2024 map, is now open. Moriarty, New Mexico, right here, east of Albuquerque, open. And Evanston, Wyoming, which I think is this one. And then Rock Springs, Wyoming, which is this one. Rollins, Wyoming, which is under construction, which is this one, and Grantsville, Maryland, which is a Nevi site, is now under construction. There's two other Nevi sites in the state of Maryland, and I'm guessing if this one's under construction, some other ones are, because there was a mention on LinkedIn about a new uh, progress going on in... Um, the Nevi program, and I just noticed my head is covering up, so I'm going to drop my head. Um, the Nevi program in the state of Maryland. So um, this one being under construction, I think, is going to signal the other two construction proceeding shortly as well. This is what it looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a second. As I mentioned, it is a lot. And that team at Pilot Flying J's EV build... Um, construction project management team has definitely been about their business of and have uh, perfected their skill set. They are landing stations into open status with pretty fast succession. 
Okay, various counts. We are up to 190 open with 20 spotted under construction. And I would like to point out, we finally got a tie. Yay, for Central Time Zone. I has been rooting for you as the underdog there. Because I thought the Eastern Time Zone was perpetually going to be in the lead, but no more. And they only have four spotted under construction. Central still has time. Uh, 10 spotted under construction. So, you know, we could see the trend going on here. We are now neck and neck for first place. And the Mountain Time Zone has 21 open. What a train. Tremendous uh, shift in uh, fortunes for the mountain time zone. Pacific time zone is still lagging with only nine open. And uh, two spotted under construction. Mountain has four spotted under construction. And if we look, Texas is way up on top. No change there. But Illinois has moved into third place above Georgia with 11. Colorado now shows up on the list with four and wyoming with four so these are all new entries on this list um let's see if there's any change in the interstates i didn't actually look at this too closely no it looks pretty much the same all right so nothing much to call out there i'm going to go ahead and roll the slide that has all the canopy locations both open spotted under construction and the full data tables thanks for watching